Hello and welcome to Benoni, South Africa. Willowmore Park is the venue and we are all set for the inaugural African Cricket Association Africa T20 Cup. It's game one. Botswana are taking on Uganda. It's a beautiful, fresh spring morning. I can tell you from experience, this is a very good venue for one day cricket. Now, the outfield's good. The pitch itself, much of grass. And as pitches goes with this sort of format, there's a fair amount of grass on it. So I expect a bit of movement this morning. It'll probably be win the toss and look to bowl first. It's probably going to be better to bat on as the day goes on. But first up, I'm looking forward to seeing a bit of movement through the air and off the pitch. Welcome to sunny South Africa. With me are the two captains from Botswana, Karabo Matlanka and Brian Masaba from Uganda. Heads is a call. And it's a head, Uganda won it from. We're going to have a ball first. It's a new wicket, uh, we're not quite sure what we'll do, but from everything we've had, uh, it looks like it's the kind of ball first wicket, so yeah, we'll definitely have a ball first. Uh, looks like a bit of a ball first wicket, it's a bit soft right now. I think once the sun gets on it, it might get a bit flatter, so we were looking to ball first as well. But uh, it is, it's cricket and you take what you get. So there we have it from the middle, Uganda have won the toss and decided to ball first. Thank you very much, so uh, a breezy start to the morning here. And those are the two teams. Red is the Botswana team led, of course, by Karabo Motlanka. And Uganda, specifically the team that uh, all the eyes are focused on them because they have a good all-round setup and they're probably ranked number one. Alongside me, I do have six Sochilelwa. Very good morning, Aslam. Exciting times ahead for African cricket. As many would be seeing the likes of Botswana, Uganda for the first time. And I'm sure many of these players are ruining such an opportunity to showcase their talents. I'm here to see some talent, raw talent, when it comes to fast bowling. But uh, Reginald Nehonde, right-handed batter. Suraj Kuleri. And that's the first runs of these. Uh, oh, and it's going to go all the way for four. And those are the opening runs of the uh, inaugural ACA T20 Cup. Oh, that's a much better delivery from Alpesh. It's a better length. To end the over. Five without loss. Juma Miyaji. Suraj, the left-hander. First delivery for him. Easy action as well. Tight on that off stump. Yeah, the coaches would have spoken about that length. Mindful of the butterflies, the excitement of coming out and playing in such a tournament. This is wonderful delivery. The second one from Juma, much, much closer. There was a bit of pace there as well. It certainly beat Suraj for pace, not giving him the early, giving himself the chance for early sighters. Big shout. No reaction from the umpire. He signals a leg by. Ball is looking to angle it across that left hand. Now you look at that bat hovering outside that off stump. Almost gets himself into a tango. Up in the air, up in the air, taken. Playing the wrong line, no doubt. And uh, Juma, with his pace, has picked up the wicket. But here he's playing the wrong line, he's got the leading edge. He wasn't even too sure where it had gone up. And uh, that is the end of uh, Reginald Nehonde, out for six with one boundary. Karabo Moshlanka, the new batsman. He's off the mark. <laughs> Yeah, he's looking for that. He's looking for that big shot to almost release himself. Suraj, get himself going. Good legs. Cosmos starts his second over. Now that's the first bad ball really of the morning, and it's been put away for four by the new batsman, Atlanka. Two overs remain in the power play, and Spinner for the first time this morning in the power play. Now you talk about having the ability to catch up and brilliant piece of fielding inside the circle. After the fifth over, Botswana 20 for one, and Riyazat Shah is the new bowler. Well, he's had a full go at this one, and that's a thick outside edge, just run away. The third man boundary is a little wide, but um, that's going to be four more. Is that another great? This one, he's lost the bat as well, by the way. And this is. Uh... That's bowled him. Looking to go across the line. The off spinner bowling, stump to stump. 
And if you miss, he's going to hit. As you said, Darrell, important little passage of play here because it hasn't been a great start, but he's gone for the big slog sweep. He goes for six, bowled by Frank, 27 for two. Balakrishnan, the new batsman. But for now, they need to just get a partnership going. Bat on ball. Look to build on that. One thing's for sure, you do want something which is competitive at least. Short ball is uh, attempted to hook this, but hit him high on the bat and it's going to trickle away to find leg. And the ball's fired in, it's just going to be a single. Eight of his bolt, 32 for two. A thick outside edge is, uh, it's an attempted cut. He's going to get four runs for this. Well, Suraj. That's better, stump to stump, bit of drift. What's it? Oh! Through the outside, he's looking for the second. I think we thought that he was comfortably in. Where is he? <laughs> Perhaps Ooh, not. Oh, he's nowhere in the picture yet. Oh, oh dear. I think that. So take those words back. <laughs> comfortably in. I'll take them back. Oh. Oh, he may have been comfortably out. Yes. <laughs> Benefit of the doubt, too bad, and that's the way it's been and should always be, Hussein. So, 10 of his bowl, we've just passed halfway mark, 45 for two. The change of bowling, Alpesh into the attack. Surat still there on 21 of 34, the opener. There it is, Suraj in the air, and it's not dropped. I'm well, talking about the size of the boundary, so for a moment I thought it he'd clear it and then the fielder got under this one really the easiest of catches you expect that to be taken and it's gone through for four straight to this time and it's up in the air just over the inner circle oh, right, no ways. right in front of the stumps and the finger goes up he's had a chance dropped earlier in the innings and now the right-handed balakrishnan He's mistimed it completely. He's looked to play the reverse sweep, but he's not positioned himself to play that. So confirmation, LBW by Alpesh, 9 of 9, 51 for 3. Zain Abbas, the new batsman. Well done, LP, well done, LP, well done, LP. 11 gone, that's one of 51 for 3. So yet another spinner in the uh, Ugandan lineup. Brian on for the first time. And I think the bowlers have been just uh, exceptional in the way they've gone about their work. Oh, yeah. The current run rate at 4.63. The current run rate will only get to 92. That's under 100. And uh, they'll be looking for something closer to 120. Stands tall. Obasi drills it onto the offside. You can and coach in uh, Lawrence Martana as his bowlers continue to do the work here. Brilliant from Alpesh. There's a fourth wicket. Beautifully flighted. Invited him into the drive as he always has been throughout his innings. And this time he's held out. That's a good, good follow through by Alpesh and picks up the catch. Well, he's caught in bold, Suraj Kollari for 29 of 41. And Valentine Mbazo now, the right-hander, comes in here. And uh, Botswana clearly in trouble now. Charge! Alpesh pleads, pleads, and eventually the finger comes up. Beautiful delivery. As we've gone on to uh, this particular stint, that they've kept it straight. They've made the batsman play, and... Uh, the new batsman Mbazo now holds out first baller. It took the umpire some time. He's asked all the questions, the necessary ones, and I think he's made the right call. Excellent delivery. Valentine Mbazo goes without scoring, 56 for five. Inza Mumul, master. We'll just say Inzi. <laughs> oh, he will love that. <laughs> well, it's a healthy hat-trick ball, and there's just one slip in position. Alpesh is certainly bowling beautifully. More pressure with one or two fielders up front would have would do, but here's the hat-trick ball. 
and uh, Inzi plays us uh, neatly out to the on to the offside. So uh, no hat trick for the Africa Cricket Cup just yet. Nice LP, nice LP, nice LP. From nice a bowling point of view, we'll watch the batting yeah, later. Yeah, 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 we'll talk about the batting later. Oh, yes, yeah, sound yeah. taken behind the stumps, faintest of edges, and that's the fifth one. Beautifully flighted, wide outside the off stump, mm. not really getting near the pitch of the ball, just flaying his arms, and uh, the finest of edges. Good judgment by the wicketkeeper, never the easiest his catches. I love the way he moves swiftly to his right to pick up the catch, and the captain has picked up his second. Yeah, looking to stand tall on his feet. Ball way past him. Brilliant bit of fielding behind the stumps. Absolutely. Zayn Abassi, just the four runs. What the? Brilliant once again. Ah, oh, no gap found, and a very good over to finish with a wicket. And you look at the resurgence now of Zimbabwe. Aha, uh Kenzo! -huh. Long may nice, continue. Nice, nice, nice. Wait to, wait to, wait to. Oh, no! Feet. Oh, no! comes up, and that's the seventh for Uganda. It's the angle. Inzema Master just picking up one. The score, 62 for seven. 15 overs are complete. Pemelo Silas. That's the new better. He's immediately uh, off the mark. What are you doing? Tough situation for Botswana. It was always going to be difficult. They never got off to a great start. Conditions favoured the bowlers this morning. Well, Credit to Uganda. Uh -huh, uh -huh. the field. One drop catch, but ground fielding has been superb. So to answer your question, Hussein, at least bat the overs out. I'll pass it bowling his fourth over. He's got all of this one. And that's going to be a maximum. Yes, it will. It's cleared. The long on boundary, and I think it really may help them get beyond 100 and some sort of respectability to their total. Aha! Ball it, ball it, ball it, ball it, ball it, ball it! Calls a ball it down at the keeper's end, and that's excellent running between the wickets. First six of the day. Was that a directed? No, the umpire's been asked. The question, now I'm not going to suggest that he's comfortably in, when the previous <laughs> suggestion it was not the case. I just want to know if that was, no, it was into the gloves, it was not a direct hit. Oh. Take every extra run they can get. Confusion. And 17 gone now, 76 for 7. Cosmos. 2.1 overs, 10 dot balls due to Siraj. He just couldn't get bat on ball and only six runs conceded. Ah, this should go. Whoa! Has he taken that? Why is there bat involved? That would have been something quite spectacular. Over five, fine leg. Have a look at this. He's got something on it. It may have been a glove as well. And you can see the ball slow down. That's a wonderful attempt. Diving full into his left hand side. Almost get, almost got hold of it and held on to it. Well run, well run. Immediately off the bat and non-striker called immediately. He was off and that's what you want. For Botswana, there's been 62 dot balls. That's oh, that's well taken. That was asking for two and that's what they got. This is beautifully played. Lovely little ramp. He's played this to perfection. Got under it, got out the way. Juma Miyagi is back into the attack. He's bowled two overs up front. Also bowled very well. Oh, that's an interesting stroke. He's capturing back for the second. This is brilliant running. He's going to get back. Oh, that is wonderful running. That's brilliantly bold, just backing that up. Oh, so unfortunate. And that'll race away. Going for the fuller Yorker outside of Stump. Oh, that's not gonna 
This is not going to make the captain or the bowler happy. Gone about their business in a very busy fashion now, and the runs are flowing. He wants to, and by picking up the second, it will be his high score in this format. 13 runs scored of that particular over. They can get, go one bigger now. Shift the momentum in their favor. Just a touch. Bowled him. He's gone. And that's a wonderful delivery. He's got the Yorker in. And it's a quick Yorker right in the block hole. And of course, uh, Bat is trying to hit up, but that's uh, gone straight to Of course, a little handy 18 of 20. But Swana 98 for 8. And it's brought up the 100. Muketsi. You better. Good ball in. Ah. Salas is pushing for two. He's coming back to the danger end. Oh, and unfortunately, oh no, there's been a fumble. <laughs> it's all happening out there. He's safe. He's managed to um, get back, but it was only the one run. And that ends the innings that's been an excellent handy little innings from silas uh, botswana needed to get beyond that hundred to get themselves any chance of being competitive in this match but they've got them on the board and uganda will be left to chase down that which you feel would be well within their reach but you never know in this format on the bowling side two opening bowlers were very impressive cosmas and juma bowled beautifully both of them bowled four in three overs, and uh, you can see the number of dots on the right-hand side, one for 19 and one for 21. And then the spinners, the Alpesh from Jani stood out on his debut four for 17 of his four overs. He was quite exceptional, and they struggled. Did the uh, Botswana batters, and ended up just on 103 for eight of their 20 overs. And that's left Botswana with 103 runs on the board. Uganda had to chase down 104. We said the conditions would get easier as the day goes on and it warms up. But they've got to be considering themselves firm favorites here, Uganda. That's less than six and over. I set a target of 104. Brian Rasaba is uh, one of two opening batsmen. Simon Sisazi is uh, the non-striking batsman. Botswana are going to start with spin. Noki Mukatsi. So the target 104. And uh, you kind of must feel that the bowlers have done enough to uh, have the batsman get in there and pick up the runs and pick up their win. But a lot has already happened. And this first drive is uppish for some distance, but not as far as the fair in the covers. And having said that, equally professional from Uganda with ball in hand. An opportunity now to showcase what they have with bat. Certainly not surprising that Moketsi has been given the new ball. I'll be at a different end. We did see four wickets falling from spin from the other side. Leg side, first runs off the bat. And four runs all the way. That's well played. Just a slight drift towards that leg stump and beautifully picked up by uh, Simon to pick up his first runs and the first runs for Uganda in the competition. With the quicker bowlers, it's those edges that get them off to a good start. And that's a brilliant start. That's a brilliant start from Mukwetsi. So Chose, who scored 18 of 20, certainly gave uh, a semblance of respectability. He was involved in a 26-run partnership for the uh, eighth wicket. Now he's got to do it with the ball. Can he bring his team back into this contest? Which is why I would love at least one of these batters in this Ugandan side to just free the arms. Yes, it is a low total. You don't want to lose early wickets. You want to negotiate the power play. Good line. Good delivery. Oh, that's the second uh, away swinger that is bowled, and he's bowled it beautifully. He almost bamboozled his wicket keeper at the back. Here he is again. Arms. It's that leading arm that I'd like to come straight. He's falling away. 
Perhaps that's aiding his away movement as well. Good length, top of off. And in the second, six on the board for Uganda. Oh, Looks like he's the all-rounder. Opened the bowling and then he's in the uh, proper middle order position. Just the first few years, you would assume South Africa would dominate. Steps outside the line, made his decision early on. Mwiti. Put around the corner towards that deep square leg boundary. Four runs. Picked up. Oh, wow! That is dropped it. It was in and it was out in a flash. Down at fine leg, he looks up above as he realizes an opportunity got a begging. I must say that the attempt deserved uh, commendation, no doubt. The ball was traveling, it was uh, skimming th through the air towards him. He timed it perfectly, he looked to go with two hands, and the momentum eventually sees the ball spill out of his hands. What a good attempt. <laughs> he stayed there for a cold second. Hard luck. Good connection. Bit of groundwork this time. Good length. Full toss and neatly put away. Healthy edge all the way to backward square. And they land the over 19 for no. In the air. A thick outside edge. Lazy from the field as these two batters cross for two. In the Botswana innings was uh, 11 overs of dot balls and this is just pumped through the covers. Back foot punch by Simon. Can't understand why he went around the wicket, paid the price. Going across the batsman, it opens up the offside. The length isn't right. That's a good shot. That's how you play the cover drive. So there's a field change. Fine legs coming across to the offside. So they've only got two fielders on the leg side. Interesting field. Oh, and that's taken so, so. They knew better than us. Knew better than me. Picked up a wicket going across the bat and very good catch. Well taken, so success here for Botswana. Good carry as well, a little bit of shape away, that wide slip we spoke about. There we go, he's had a full little flay at that one. Thick outside edge, and that's a decent catch to Masaba. The Gandan captain goes for 15 of 17 deliveries. 23 for no loss after five. Field has not changed at all. Love this intensity from the Botswana team. Maposa, the bowler, beautifully bowled. Success for Botswana, 6 gone, 33 for 1. So 33 for 1, Uganda, in the power play. 26 for 1 over Botswana, the end of the 6 over power play. So change of bowling. That's not needed. That's not the sort of cricket these two players need to get and have a little chat about it, but beautifully bold, a bit of air, tossing it up, asking the batter to have a go or play something irresponsibly. That's good tactics, this. It's uh, even the ball chance to turn, but it bounce as well. Oh, oh. Yeah, nice bit of flight as well. Oh, yeah. oh. Keeper, 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 man. That may have been a chance. This is an opportunity. No, it's just bounce in front. He's allowed it to drop. Should he have perhaps maybe gone flat out and dived in front of him, but uh, perhaps may have been a touch short. Seven overs bowl, 36 for one. Keeper, 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 keeper. Call is for keeper. Oh, wow. like to see some feet being used, but it's not a convincing performance yet from Uganda. Oh, my God. 
Eight down. 44. Looking for big shot through the offside. Right now, my money's on a wicket or two for Botswana. Oh, it's got that slipping place. Good stroke. That is what no spinner likes to see being swept square. It wasn't a bad ball swept on length and this is as good as you're going to get the sweep shot played in front of square now that's not the way you play that one that's a good shot has to be a good shot bat involved umpire's not interested nine down 44 for one let's have a look at this where did it pitch Oh, that didn't look a bad shot. Perhaps, maybe, is the umpire is just uh, questioning whether that was impact outside the line of off stump. But I tell you, that didn't look a bad shot at all. Oh, maybe the arm? Hit him on the arm? Mm, or glove. No, he rolled up from the glove. Changing bowling. Original Nande. I'd like to see the bowlers ask the batsman to go over the top. So loud appeal and um, a question here has got to be did this pitch outside the line of leg stump because he's bowling over the wicket. It's got to pitch somewhere outside leg stump. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think this is pitching outside the line of leg stump. Good decision. And this has gone up. Loose shot, and in the end, well, there was a moment there. It looked as if the field hadn't quite picked it up, but he's held on to it, and Uganda yeah, lose their second. Not sure where he was looking to hit this, because there is a deep mid-off. Maybe he was looking to go straighter, but he knew. He knew the moment that he hit it, he hadn't found the middle. And a very good catch, so Botswana, good, loud, strong in the field, and believing they're not out of it. By Swag, he gets seven, and Uganda are 46 for two. You better in, two down, three has it sharp. And he's off the mark. Well taken single. So halfway through, and not much in it. Botswana 45 for two, Uganda 47 for two. And they need to score it. They're scoring at 4.7. They need to score at just 5.7 to make sure that uh, they stay within uh, touching distance. Leadership really stands out when it comes to these tight situations. And so far, it's been good. And it's perhaps how they started Uganda that you wouldn't think that they've had 38 deliveries or dot balls rather Drew in fact has been excellent you saw the feet 52 for two Dhruv Kumar Mysuriya that's his full name tidy leg break bowler I have to somehow put these spinners under pressure Sometimes tentative in your approach. In the air, in the air. Maxima. Oh. Full of this time and quicker. Lovely taking the other stumps. End of the over, 60 for two. Suraj Collery. Length, outside of stump, and smacked away. Dealt with it accordingly. Four outs. It's a good straight hit. Keep up, keep up, keep up, keep up, keep up, keep up. And that's exactly what Botswana are after now. Break this partnership. Cause a bit of problems and panic. 44 balls remaining. 38 runs remaining. A couple of dot balls here and there. And wickets start falling. Certainly still not out of it. Perhaps Simon is wary and mindful of that. There is a man in the deep and takes it. Ah, He's had a while to have a look at it and 
Very good, very well done because the rope was virtually on his heels and had the presence of mind to be aware of it. Uganda, yeah, looking to finish this in a hurry and you've got to question if that's really the, the way they need to go about it. Well watched, well watched in the end. That's an excellent catch, really, on the boundary. A good awareness there. Simon Sasazi goes for 37 of 39 balls. Alpesh Ramjani, the new batter. Now, what can he do with the bat? Now he's off the ball. Call for the ball to come to the keeper. Shah was, in fact, that cross with that catch taken. He was the batter who just pushed it down to Miron. 16 gone, 87 for three. Three hours, eight dot balls, no success. Very impressive for the leggy, very impressive. A bit more runs on the board, and he might be a tough one to deal with. His role will be just to get the Shah on strike. Brilliantly done. Very well done. The other option was a little left sweep around the corner. Now there's a little overthrow, some sloppy work here. A little unnecessary because the single was already taken. Ah, oh, that's gone through. He's looking for two. Oh, no. Shah slipped as he's turned, so that's not going to happen. But it's good intensity. They're, they're looking for twos. They're always running hard. Very good. Have a look at this. This is the running between the wickets. He's hit that. Slight must feel allowed the ball to get through, and then he slips and unable to come back for the second. Inzi Mamul, master, took a catch earlier on on the boundary with good hands and good balance. Medium pace, right on over the call from the umpire. Keeper's not up to the stumps. Cover. And that's what allows the batter to do at this sort of pace. The keeper not up. He can walk at him. And this is a good cricket shot. So 21st four of this match. That's smart batting. He's walked across. He stumps to the offside and then just work this because uh, there's a big vacant area on the leg side here. Nobody in that mid-wicket area. One shy of 100 and five short of winning the match. Everyone is now in the ring. And that's the result. And that will end this match. And it's been a good win, a welcome win, a great start to this Africa Cup for Uganda. And it's the captain who finishes it off in style. He was there to win the match for Uganda, get that knot out. And that's a handy little 36 from 29. Match has been played in an excellent spirit. So it was Sesazi. He was the guy that kept it together. Played his role very well. 37 from 39. And there was a bit of a wobble there with by Iswai at the crease. The captain Brian Masaba, 15 or 17. But it was the classy little 36 of 29 from Shah, which saw began to stroll to a good seven wicket victory. That played nicely. They've done enough to get through and hopefully I'm pretty sure Lawrence Matlani will be talking about how they can get even better, how they can improve in certain areas, particularly around the batting side, stay calm, rotate the strike more. The bowling was good, you have to say. They bowled really, really well. You can uh, win this game in the end by seven wickets. Good afternoon, Brian. Congratulations. It must feel pretty pleasing to win the tournament, or to win the first match of the tournament. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it was important for us to hit the ground running. And, uh, you know, winning the bug is always important for us. Well done there. And then what did you make of the pitch? You won the toss, elected to bowl first. Yeah, uh, like we had, it was a bit slow, uh, quite slow in the morning, but there was still a bit of assistance for the bowlers. And I thought uh, our bowlers used that quite well in the morning to restrict them to just over 100 runs. After that, it was just about coming and knocking the runs off in the afternoon. 
Oh, that was in fact very well done. You handle the bowlers yourself very, very impressively. You must be particularly pleased with the bowlers, especially Alpes Ramjani, picking up four for 17 in his four. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Alpes was brilliant for us. Uh, he's on, he was on debut, so for him to come out and uh, put in a big performance like that, I, I thought he, he had the right temperament and he bowled really good areas and uh, he got the rewards. Congratulations and good luck for the rest of the tournament. Well done. Thank you.